the opponents go crazy if they lose and it's at this point where I'm thinking, well, should I stop playing now and just um, just keep doing the casual games or shall we continue? So we'll continue on and just uh, play our game as best possible. Could take, oh, let's just push the pawn here. Keep it real simple. Don't want to get too arty or anything like that. So we do have space now, but he does have the knight coming here. So I think we're just going to bring the bishop here just to try and prevent that. Could take the pawn now. So I think we've got enough pieces settled. Push this pawn, maybe just stopping the queen, maybe grabbing the pawn. So moving a little bit quick. It's a 10 minute zero increment. We, we are trying to get castled. I think they'll be queenside castling. So yeah, they're looking a little bit active. So we could bring the bishop all the way out or just bring it here nice and steady. Just going to bring it here. So they're potentially going to be looking for the cheapy type thing. Let's go ahead and castle anyway. Alright, so they're still going for it. So we're going to push here. The queen's going to move to the side. Queen's going to move there, then a bishop can take. Is there anything else that we can do? Because they're moving dead quick. When they're moving that rhythm, it's like, oh, we've got this sewn up. So could we move the king first? Let's move the king first rather than getting embroiled in anything. So we're playing football in our own half of the board. Waiting for the opponent to overextend. Going to push the pawn. Knight is protected at the minute. Yes, they're moving dead quick. They've got it. They've got something set that we're going to lose out. So the king now needs to probably move off of the line just in case because it's got the x ray through. And at this level here, when they're moving that fast, um, you have to look at the, the quality of the play. Look at the pieces that we've got. A little bit jammed in at the moment. So a little bit of questions start ringing in your head. But we'll see how it pans out. Knight's down, we can take. But is it like a fictitious take? Can the queen come in here? No, the bishop's there. Can the bishop come in here? The bishop can come in here. Yeah, so if the queen did take, we would be able to attack the bishop. But I don't think... So if we take, bishop comes here attacking the rook. So he's attacking a higher piece. So we have to move. Then he takes the knight with the queen. Then we can attack the queen, um, bishop. Okay, let's do that. So he's not doing that, so we'll attack the bishop. They're moving dead quick like they've got it sewn up and they're taking the long breaks like... Hmm, Okay. So he's going to be looking for his queen to get here, to get here. So if we take, then his queen's going to be in the ideal position to get there. And if we take, then our queen can't come here, but the pawn can block. But then his rook is going to be coming here, attacking as well. So I've got pieces jammed in, which is not a good sign. Up. 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 That's like three moves, isn't it? Whew. It's going to be coming down, killing the bishop. Could attack the king. With a check on the pawn, taking the pawn. But the rook's there at the minute, so do we wait? 
Do we hang fire with that? Bring the knight up. And then the rook comes here looking for a 2 on 1. Bring the bishop here attacking the um, king. But I suppose he can just bring his bishop back, can't he? Brings the bishop back. And we can attack the queen. I think that's what we're going to do. See if that happens. Rook comes shooting here for a 2 on 1. Yep, okay, put the check on. Queen is protecting the bishop. Oh, he's moved the king. So he's not done the bishop thing. Hmm, that's horse of a different colour now, isn't it? So do we hit the bishop? But the bishop can come and attack the rook, and it's in a nice position. Do we hit the queen? Queen has to move off of the line. So it's getting it out of the way. But there is this space here to get here at some point, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, not liking all these spaces. Let's hit the queen. I suppose if the bishop does come here, we can attack here. Or do we just go for taking this pawn off? So the queen moves and we are mindful of this area here. Knight could attack the queen. So a small piece attacking the higher piece and get it into this square. Or not, now that we're going to get the pawn. Damn it. Damn it. Get the queen off the back. Supporting. Support with the pawn. But the pawn's just going to drop. Oh, I can't believe we're just giving up the pawn there. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's just bring it here. He takes, queen goes and goes for the queen. Doesn't do that. And do we block? But then the pawn just drops. See the play, the play too quick, you know, with the moves. It's like it's it's not. Attack the rook and the bishop. Hmm. Bring the knight back down. Can't protect the pawn, can we? It's always going to be taking the pawn. Attack the rook, rook moves down, and then we don't, we can go here attacking the bishop, let's attack the rook, time's running down, we're on four minutes, I suppose it's still a bit of time, so they're going to get the pawn back, we can get this pawn out of the way potentially, but this position of this bishop is really quite lethal I think. But we just wanted to get the knight in the game. We want to get the white square bishop in the game as well, but can't do much about that at the moment. It might never get in the game. So attack the bishop, like we said. Is there any further faults? Another attack on the rook here. So I think it's going to go to its ideal position here, attacking the rook. It's not done that. Oh, okay. So we take, so we actually, actually we get rid of this troublesome um, bishop, but we do have to be mindful of this queen searching for this square. And plus we're not getting this pawn off, but we can take it with the knight. We're going to take it with the knight. They're in a rush to get that queen to this position. So I think we need to get rid of this pawn. They come down for this pawn. It's too much space around our king. I mean, they've got loads of space around their king as well. We just need to make space for the white square bishop. It's just locked in. Terrible. So 
So probably the rook coming attack in the knight, something like that. Wants to get his bishop into the game, wants to get the knight into the game as well. But we can't do anything. There's only one half open file. They look a little bit more active than us, which is a little bit worrying. It's locking down the bishop even more. Queen needs to come off the back. Probably stopping the queen from attacking here. Rook doesn't have any defence on, so we could look to attack the rook and support the pawn at the same time. I'm feeling really bad for this bishop. He's supporting the rook rather than moving. So we could hit the rook with the pawn. Or is there a magic knight? Knight. Tax the bishop. Mm, it's a bit congested, isn't it? Hit the rook. Has to go up supporting the pawn. Let's hit the rook. Goes back, supports the pawn. Don't think we attack it again, it just drops back down. Need to move a bit quicker there. Time seems to be going up rather than down. Five minutes. So he does go and protect, so he's not asleep. We'll bring this rook facing this pawn here. Maybe we can start pushing at some point. Oh, here we go. Damn it. So he's got three pieces on there. The speed at which they move then as well. One, two, three. We've got one, two defending. So the king's going to have to come into the game, isn't it? Oh, we can just bring the queen there. Don't think I'm liking the king coming here. Let's push in here. Push up, I suppose. So what we got cooking? So obviously putting some more pressure onto the pawn, you'd think the rook would come here. This pawn can't move up because of our damn king. So we are going to lose the pawn. Don't think there's anything else. I think. Okay, so is it hitting the pawn? Knight can still jump here. Knight can still jump there to attack the king and also attack the pawn. Yeah, so this is not going to end well. So pawn, pawn hits the rook, knight comes down, puts a check on, he's also attacking the pawn as well. This rook's not doing anything, so we could go here with the rook. Maybe then it can help support the numerous attacks that are going to be attacking this pawn. Yeah, this pawn can never push, we say we're going to have to push up. Could never take, sorry, we'll have to push it up. Um just bring the king across, couldn't we? Bring the king across and castle it over here. Or oh, is that too bad? Bishop taking, bishop taking. Mm. Yeah, so we've given them the thing. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, they've got three on, we've only got two. They've not taken advantage, but maybe they know something I don't know. Can't take there. Just, oh no, I've given the rook up. Oh, that should have been more of an arrow than a push up. I should have been going, could go here, could go there, but I've just given the rook up now. Ah. Okay, piece for a piece type situation. More flexible piece. They've got two flat rooks. Let's look at it in a positive sense. And this one's in the center of the board, just trapped by its own self. So let's look at that in a more positive way. We've gained flexible flexibility on the board. 
their queen can come here. Not that it's going to, but it can. So they'll be looking to trade off the rooks. Oops, excuse me. Because their queen can come down here. It's going to take the knight with the um, queen. So they're going to take with a check on the king. But as we've said, um, going to put a check on the king here. Going to put a check on the king here and get the rook off the board. It's always got this pawn here to take. Can put a check on the king, he's going to escape. White square bishop could come into its own, but oh, we're running out of time. Let's put a check on. We're running out of time. Let's take 12 seconds. Yep, they won on time.